Here's an old school eye makeup technique. It's a way to tailor any eyeshadow look to your unique eye shapes. Ray Morris is the creator of this incredible eye fi technique and I've seen other makeup artists like Wayne Goss as well as Rachel Cool MUA use it as well and I can't wait to try it. So without further delay, let's begin. First things first, let's get done with the brows. I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow shade 4 to fill in the sparse area, starting with the upper portion of my brows. Then using the spoolie, I'm going to brush my brow hair upwards so I can clearly see at the bottom and fill it up. And while I do so, I'm also going to go along my brows to give it some shape. Using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145, I'm going to even out the skin tone on my lid, going all the way from my lash line up to the arch of my brow. This is going to give us a clean canvas to work on the lids. Step one, I'm going to mark the lowest point of my eye where it dips down. We are going to call that point A. I'm just using an eye pencil here. You can also use eyeshadow. And then looking straight in the mirror, I'm going to mark the highest point of my eye in my upper lash line. That is going to be point B. And although it looks like I'm looking down, I'm actually looking straight into my mirror, which is right in front of me. Starting with point A, I'm going to draw a line that goes outward and upward parallel to my lower lash line and I'm going to stop at a point that's aligned with point B. For this, I'm going to be using the Celestial Thunder palette. This is by Dominique Cosmetics. I'm going to dip into Storm Dust with a small angled brush. Again, starting with point A, I'm going to start drawing that line going outward and upward. And I'm going to go all the way up and stop right there because that is aligned with point B. Next, I'm going to join point B with point A. I've seen some people take point A all the way up to the crease before they join it to point B. Either or it gives the same effect. So I prefer to do it this way because it's much easier. I'm going to now fill in all the gaps. So I'm just using the same eyeshadow. And then with a small blending brush by Colourpop, I'm going to start softening this by blending it out. I'm also going to bring it all the way up to my crease in the outer corner just to give some definition. To blend it out further and to soften it further, I'm using a larger blending brush. This one's also from Colourpop. Next, I'm going to be using a lighter shade in the inner corner and on my lids, I'm going with Eternal Light. For the inner corner, I'm just using a flat shader brush by Colourpop and for my lids, I'm just going to apply it with my finger. And then using a flat shader brush, I'm going to neaten up the edges. I'm also using the residue to highlight my brow bones and to finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using the Sally Hansen Curler. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I love this mascara. It gives me so much volume and length, as you can see. That is just one coat. So I'm going to be applying two coats and then move to my lower lash line. And if you prefer, you can also use false lashes. The iFi technique is also called the Golden Ratio, and it is so unique and so personal to every eye shape. And here is my finished look. Although subtle, it gives so much dimension to the eye shape, but I would love to hear your thoughts. So comment below and let me know. Let's now finish up the face before I reveal the completed look. I'm going to be using the Butter Blush. This is from the Physician's Formula Butter Dream Team Palette. I'm kind of applying it higher up on my cheekbones to get that lifted effect. And the brush that I'm using is an angled Kabuki brush. This is from Do Color. For lips, I'm going to first line it with Rock and Roses. This is a lip liner by Jordana. This shade is an exact match to my lip shade. So I'm going to be using it in the borders as a guide. And then I'm going to fill it in with my favorite lip gloss balm. This is Sincerity by Bare Minerals. And here's the finished look. Would love to hear your thoughts, so comment below and let me know. And if you plan to try this technique, please don't forget to come back and let me know your thoughts. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you would like to watch more videos like these and learn something new. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.